Hello fellow peasants. So I just got done watching 1982's Halloween 3 Season of the Witch. I'm going to let you know what I think about it. Okay guys, so I just got done watching Halloween 3, Season of the Witch. Uh, this film came out in 1982. Um, it's still uh, produced by uh, John Carpenter. Uh, Dean Cundy did the... Uh, he's director of photography in this. So, we have a competent film here. Um, I, I just saw this film for the first time a few years ago. Uh, actually, when I went and bought the uh, Shout Factory... 4Ks. See, I got the, uh, I have the, I like to use the outside, like the new artwork for the outside, then use the OG, uh, cover for the inside case. Anyway, uh, what do I think about the film? What do I like? What do I not like? Well, first, first I got to get out of my, out of the way, you know, like when I watch this, I have to put, mentally go into the space that this isn't a Michael Myers movie. And I need to watch this as if it's its own standalone film. Because if you guys don't know, after Halloween 2, John Carpenter had no interest in Michael Myers anymore. He basically wanted to wipe his ass with the character of Michael Myers. And they wanted to make Halloween similar to what uh, American Horror Story is. So if you imagined, if you could imagine American Horror Story in theaters every year so every year you would get a new film uh based on halloween is what they wanted to do is just based on the topic of halloween they were done with michael myers they wanted to move to a new uh a new theme a new idea and the uh and the halloween fans went fuck you uh they did not like it they were not big fans it's finally this film is finally starting to get the uh respect i think that it deserves do i think that this is oscar nominated worthy uh material no no not at all it, but it is a nice little interesting film uh what i do like about the film is the cinematography once again dean cundy does an excellent job the lighting in this is great the shadow the uh especially on the here on the 4k the black levels look very nice dean cundy's work in in this film is excellent just as it was in 1978 um now i also like the the premise i like the concept of the film it is very interesting it has never really been done before and that's so basically this uh cult of witches uh runs this factory and they build these masks and and they and and the masks are uh, given magical powers by this piece of Stonehenge <laughs> and they create these masks and when the kids put on the masks at Halloween they run this television program and and it kills the kids and the re and the reason they want to kill the kids is because back in like the old school pagan Celtic days whatever 3000 years ago he talks about the bad guy in this uh they uh they did sacrifices of animals and kids or whatever uh back in the day so it's super creepy shit it's a very creepy um premise it's never been really done before um it, it's it's interesting it's uh it makes you really not like the fucking bad guy in this he's he's a huge he's a huge asshole because uh, he just wants to kill pretty much everybody um i don't know if it's i don't even know if it's just kids or not that he wants to kill i think he i think he's trying to kill everybody um he even puts a mask on the main character, Doctor Guy, in the film, and ties him to a chair and puts the skull mask on. Uh, what else do I like? I think it's well acted. I think the acting is pretty good in this movie. I don't have too many complaints about that. Um, so yeah, cinematography, the overall concept, uh, and the acting. Yeah. Uh, in terms of what I didn't like about the film. Um, I think it drags pretty much all the way up to the point where the, where, the, where the doctor 
and and his his woman of interest even even though this guy is married he's like hanging out with this this hot robot chick you find out she's a robot towards the end of the film <laughs> spoilers uh but he's like having some sort of affair with this robot chick uh, and anyway they so he's the, the reason they they go looking and start hanging out is because this guy is getting chased at the beginning uh the cult comes after this guy uh and uh, he dies with a mask in his hand in the hospital and he goes they're gonna kill us they're gonna kill us all and somehow the doctor ends up uh, meeting with this meeting with that guy's daughter at a bar they start investigating they want to know what happened to her dad they end up finding this factory the factory where they make the masks um and uh, i just think it drags up until the point that those two go on this tour of the facility and, and once it gets to that point you're like oh okay like we're, we're rolling here because before that it's just a lot of him and her talking hanging out in the hotel room um i don't know it just it's a little slow in that in that area to me so right around the halfway point i think this film really kicks into third gear um it just ain't ramps up pretty well now um one another thing i do not like about the film is the scope of the film um now that's due to budgetary restrictions i'm sure but a film and i've said this in other videos before a film like this um it works it works but it's it's supposed to be done on such a mass scale you know uh it doesn't feel it feels like a more like a made for tv movie this, just the feel and the scale of the film uh it, the the film it doesn't really feel like this epic world ending oh my god we gotta save the kids or save the whole planet we gotta you know it it, it feels very tight knit it feels very hospital factory you know hospital ho hospital hotel factory there's there's just not a lot of locations here and i'm not saying you gotta be all over the world and show every fucking country and what's going on in each country or, i don't know they're just there's just a very um it's like if I, it, it's like if I shot a movie that's supposed to encompass the whole world, this world-ending event, and the whole movie takes place in like three rooms in my house, where people are having dialogue about the world ending. I mean, can it be done? Yeah, it's just I don't know. It's just for the scale of what's happening, the film feels really small, and I get that. You know, the it's probably budgetary restrictions. I don't. Know. There's just something that doesn't feel uh large like the feel of the film doesn't feel as large as the story they're telling um lastly what i do not like uh, it's slipping my mind now what is what is the last thing that i do not like um i'm probably gonna say uh i don't like some of the cheesiness in it like the kills are the kills are kind of cool but they're not I don't know they're not really kills i don't know it's just like it goes over the top it's kind of sci-fi and like i don't get the snakes and the cr crickets coming out of the kids mask i don't get like the laser beam coming and busting that lady's face up i don't get the bad guy's death what the hell was that it like a laser hits him and he turns into this like marshmallowy george washington looking i don't even know what and then like psh it was kind of a shitty death. I was hoping better for a better death for that guy because he's a piece of shit. Um, and, you know, he's such a nasty bad guy. And then he just gets some sort of like, he just gets vaporized or something, but not in like a really cool way. Just kind of like, he just stands there and accepts it like. Um, all in all, guys, um, I can see why Halloween fans were pissed when this came out. I mean, they didn't say, hey, here's what's up. Here's what we're doing. Here's the game plan. They just marketed this shit as Halloween 3. And, you know, people were in the theaters <laughs> waiting for Michael Myers to show up. And 
But I think it's a nice little film uh, to watch. Uh, I think it would have gotten far more respect if it would have been just, if they would just been honest and just made it a separate film and not even tried to tie it to Halloween. Just, just take Halloween three off the title and just called it season of the witch or, or, I mean, at the time, if you guys don't know, there's another film called season of the witch. Uh, so by the time this rolled around, it might've been could have been some copyright issues there, but they could have just called it The Season of the Witch, and that probably would have fixed that. <sighs> but, all in all, I think it's good. If I were to rate this film in terms of pure enjoyment, um, I would probably give this like a 5 out of 10, something like that. Uh, in terms of a Halloween film, how would I rate this? Uh, like a 2, a 1. Um... Because it doesn't have Michael Myers in it. When I think of Halloween, the Halloween franchise, I think of Michael Myers. And, uh, oh, yeah. And, and and they have trailers, like like Homeboy's in the bar. And they have a, a commercial for Halloween on at the bar. And, and then when Cochran has him tied up to the chair with the, with the skull mask on in the room... Like Halloween's on television, it's like Laurie Strode's walking around in the house and shit at the end of the Halloween film. I don't know. It's just kind of like if you're gonna try to do a standalone thing, you don't need to tie it in. You don't need to just. I wish they wouldn't even have shown anything Michael Myers or Halloween in this film. You don't need to do that. Uh, but anyway, guys, that's it. That's my likes, my dislikes. Uh, I think it's a, a decent little film. It's okay. Um, all right, guys, um, the next video I'll be doing in regards to the Halloween franchise will be Halloween 4, The Return of Michael Myers. All right, guys, have a good one, peasants. Peace out. Bye-bye.